Watch out. Yeah. Do you help? You can help. Alright, my helper. There's my helper. Okay, we're grinding a flat spot here. We're grinding a flat spot there so I can dop it up. I think we're pretty good right there. Let's not take off more than we have to. Let's go with that, okay? Alright, shut that off. Alright, we got that. stick right here. I'm not quite sure what we're doing yet. I think I'm going to go with something diamond-like. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Let's, uh, let's put it on there and see what happens. This is kind of an experiment. We don't know what we're going to do. Okay. Well, as promised, we're back. And one of the viewers really wanted to do this free stone, the topaz here. And I think it'll turn out as a nice stone. That's one Riley liked too. So I've got a flat spot ground on there. Um, it's not on the cleavage plane. As you can see, this real shiny section right here. That's the cleavage plane. And you really don't want one of your facets to end up on that. You'll never get it polished. So I'm going to mix up some glue. Careful, honey. Don't want that on your fur. We'll never get it out of your fur. Oh, dang it. Well, we got plenty of glue, Riley. I think we'll have just about enough for sure. Okay, now we're going to put some on there. No, 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 no. Don't get into that, honey. Don't want that on the baby. Okay, let's set the tool pads on there. Okay, we got it setting flat. Now we're going to build it up on the bottom a little bit. So we got that built up. Now, what do we do with that? I'm going to go in for end here to my keyed section of the dop. I can see there's a crack right there, so I'm going to have to slide it over just past center so I can cut that crack out. That looks pretty good there, we're centered there, all right, I think we've got it on there, just about how we're going to use it there, I don't, I don't know yet, then we'll go pick out a design, <laughs> we're going to set that aside, and let that dry, it's going to be overnight and we'll start that another day now this is a piece of quartz that I went outside and harvested I've got a video on that um, which I will use for the opener when we cut that this is something that was homegrown in Missouri this is quartz that was grown in a pocket of limestone so we'll see how that one comes out too we're always looking for those hometown treasures. And I tell you what, I've got one right here. This is my baby. She's my hometown treasure. So we will be back 
when we get set up and get ready to go. So for now, we'll sign off. This is Jeff and Riley from Hometown Treasures. I've decided to go ahead and polish out the first four main facets. Riley stopped by to help me. I'm on final. I'm on the uh, fine grinding section here. Um, Riley's always willing to help, aren't you, honey? Yes, she is. Always. So we're gonna get these. Lapped down to where they're pretty smooth and I'm going to go to my topper plates and work on them. So Riley and I are going to continue on and go around and get the other three. Right? Okay. Let's do it. You ready? Okay. Here we go. Well, I think we finally got those four facets done. Believe me, this was a step. That nobody shows you because I've spent four hours on four facets to try to get them polished. It will not polish up because it kept scratching. I tried every combination I have and I think I finally have got it. Four hours later, or four facets. That is what you do not see on a faceting video. Here we're going to start our second set of mains. We've got the four mains there, and now we're going to do two opposing mains at 96 and 48. And let's get started. Let's see where we're cutting. We're cutting down there. Look in good shape. All right, I'm going to continue this and get both both those cut and polished. Yeah. Here we have the second set of mains cut and polished. Well, now we've got our third set of main facets on there. And we're going to go for the brake facets. We're going to have four brake facets we're putting just underneath these four mains we just did. So that'll be our next step. Well, we're going to start step four. We're going to be four brake facets just to the side here where they're going to connect right to the girdle and they're on the same cutting settings index settings as step three so this is kind of a placement deal you've got to judge it and put it in where you think it's going to be the best because after we do this then we're going to start rounding out the girdle to get the actual shape of the stone but it's starting to take shape anyway i can start to see it now so Let's get at it and get something cut. We've got our brake facets on there. And we're going to go ahead and do the two end ones. We've got two end facets to go on each side, opposing sides. And then We will do the girdle outline. Our little brake facets on the end here. Closing facets on 72 and 24. 
cutting those down and get them polished. Then we can start working on the girdle. Getting closer, that uh, pavilion is getting closer. Here we got the completed pavilion with the girdle facets. All nice and sparkly shiny. And we're going to dop it up for the transfer so we can do the crown. Covered up the stone and the cut side that I've redopped onto a V dop. Got to take the original dop stick off, so I'm going to wet that down. And that keeps the stone and the glue cool. And I can heat this glue right here and take that apart then. grab a hold of the stone and I can just pull that apart just like that and before that glue hardens up too much I'm just gonna cut it off just like that and there we got our stone ready to cut the crown Riley and I are working on the first mains on the crown. We're bringing them down, rough cutting them down to just about where we want to get to um, to get the girdle height. I'm going to stop short of that and rough out some more of the facets so I can get rid of some of the bulk of the stone. So that's what we're working on right now. Oh, that's far enough. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's get a accurate right about there all right I'll flip it around to the opposite setting and take down that side right Riley we're getting it every facet one facet closer Here we have the next set of four brake facets cut and polished. So we're moving along. And we're ready for the next. Right, we set up for our next set of facets. We're going to do four brake facets. One, two, three, four. Uh, they're on the corners pretty much. Same angle as the mains, the first two mains we did. And this will help determine the girdle outline there, the, the thickness of the girdle that is. So let's get started and get to it. Okay, we're on the next set of main facets. And since there are no cutting directions, we have to go by what it's going to turn out to be. So the nearest I can figure is these facets will be cut till they reach the girdle outline. And that's where we're going with them. I'm going to take it down, rough them down to where they're almost there, and then we'll smooth them out and polish them. Right down with the girdle. 
Uh, we'll find out after that if the sequence is out of line or not, but we're going to do that for now. Here it is. Here's our free blue topaz. This cut I have not done before. This is a step cut marquee. It does not take care of the bow tie effect completely that you get with longer stones, but I think it did a good job. I will do this cut again. It looks really nice. This stone had some problems. Or I should say I had some problems with this stone. There's a lot of unexplained scratches, and I did end up on the cleavage plane on one brake facet. I tried recutting the crown at a different angle to get away from there, but I didn't completely get off of it. But there's only so much you can do without ruining the stone. I think it turned out pretty good. Nice light blue color. Pretty good return for that cut. Nice stone. Nice cut. So, here's the deal. I'd like to get some comments from you on how it's going. Do you want to see more of the actual cutting of the stone? Or more of the results of each step? Where you see the each facet's cut and polished? Let me know. We can change things up and make it a little more interesting. More informational, less informational. Bring it up, bring it down. We also tried something a little bit different. Picked up a digital microscope, a small one, they call it a digital microscope. It's a magnifier, but I needed something to get some better close-up images of the stone itself because this camera I'm using is great. A lot of things, except close-ups. It doesn't really give a good close-up. It gets kind of blurry. So, let me know what you want, and uh, let's see if we can get something a little more interesting for you. Remember, if you like what you see, press like, hit subscribe. That helps get the videos out there, and then YouTube suggests them to other people who are looking for things that are similar. So, let me know how it's going. Until next time, be safe. Have a good time, but keep looking for those hometown treasures.